Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners on how to set up and use projects in QuickBooks Online. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And so I want to walk through uh, setting up a project and then tracking your income and expenses against that project in QuickBooks Online. Uh, now this project function uh, is a way for you to track all the income and all the expenses for different projects you have or jobs that you have. If, if you have used QuickBooks Desktop, very similar to job costing and setting up jobs and then tracking uh, income and expenses by jobs. But in QuickBooks Online, they call it projects. And so we're going to walk through that, how to set it up, how to record transactions, and then how to look at the reporting. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do uh, when you're in your QuickBooks Online file, you're going to go up to the gear icon and you're going to go over to account and settings all right and we're going to do this because we just want to make sure that the projects are turned on okay so you're going to go over to advanced and you're going to see down here there's an option for projects all right now it's on so if yours is off then you're just going to turn that on all right so this one is on already so we're going to go ahead and x out of here and then the next thing you're going to do, let's say that, you know, you're in your work, your business, whatever it is, you want to set up a project. Okay. Now, and you can think about projects as, you know, you've already got your customers in there, your clients, and you've got them set up. And then the project is going to be for that customer. All right. So we're not adding a new customer with a project. We're basically adding a sub customer. If you want to think about it, it's kind of like a job underneath that customer. So we're going to go over to projects over here. So I'm going to click on projects and you're going to see here if you have not set up a project and this is a brand new QuickBooks online file. So I have not set up one in here. So that's why I wanted to show you how to walk through these steps. All right. You can watch this video if you want to see kind of how it works. It's a very basic uh, video from QuickBooks online on how projects uh, work. All right. So uh, you can read through some of this and then you say down here, I want to start a project. All right. So we're going to we're going to say, what is this project? And so for this sample company file, I've got Johnson Engineering and Consulting. All right. So this is going to be uh, some kind of engineering uh, project. We're going to say uh, building project. Okay. So that's project name. And then you're going to choose your customer. So I only have a couple customers set up in here. We're going to say John Smith. Okay. And we're going to add details here. Uh, this is a new building project proposed by customer. Okay. So customer John Smith, we're going to hit save. Okay. So now we have this project. You're going to see here, this is going to walk me through these things. Your project at a glance, you can see the performance and kind of a snapshot view of what's going on. All right. You can follow the money. You can see all the different transactions here that are going through there. Time activity, project reports, and keep organized. So you can add a project and you can do some other things there. Okay. But I want to get to the meat of this. So let me go back here. I'm going to click this back button to show the listing. Okay. So when I come to projects, you're going to see the listing of the projects that you have. All right. So right now we have no... Uh, income or costs or anything in there so it's going to be blank and you can click over here and see options you can edit the project market is completed market is canceled uh, you know sometimes projects get canceled uh, or of course when you complete it then you're going to mark it complete in this listing okay so now we have a project set up that's great so what do we do all right now let's say that we begin work on this project. This is a building project. This is an engineering company. Let's say they're doing some design and, you know, maybe some research, whatever it is. Uh, and they are going to send an invoice to the customer. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up. I like to go up to the new button, click new, and we'll say invoice. And first off, if you're familiar with QuickBooks Online, we're going to look here and we're going to see, okay, so John Smith was a customer and now we see the building project, all right? So when we created that project under John Smith, we see that this project shows up here, all right? So it's kind of like a sub customer uh, of John Smith, all right? So we're going to choose building project and we're going to say, okay, this is John Smith, Smith Dental Supply. Uh, they're building a new building, terms net 30. 
uh, say invoice date, due date, and we're going to go ahead and pick our uh, service. We're going to say drafting services hourly, and let's say that we have 10 hours on this project so far. So the total is $1,250. In this particular uh, case, there is no uh, sales tax on services, so the balance due, $1,250, and we're going to save and send. All right, so I'm just going to save and close since we're not actually sending this anywhere. Okay, so now we have the invoice out there. So you see now under the projects, I'm over here, you can see that $1,250 shows up under the projects. Okay, so now this project, uh, profit margin 100%, obviously, uh, because we have no costs going in. All right, so now let's say that we need to enter a bill. All right, so we're going to go to new, and we're going to say bill. Okay, and you'll see here that we got to choose the vendor, so we're going to say, let's say Roman Drafting. Okay, so this is a drafting company that we had to maybe outsource some of the, the design uh, or these drawings of drafting services. Okay, so we're going to say uh, the terms on this that they gave us are net 15. Uh, the bill number will say 55478. And we're going to say, okay, what is the category? All right, so this is going to be an expense. All right, so generally in a company like this is if, if we have a project and we don't want to show this as an overhead expense. We want to show this as a cost of goods sold. Okay, so this gets a little bit more into accounting, uh, but we, we want to show this as a cost of goods sold because we are billing the $1,250. This is a cost of that project, and I'm going to put it to cost of goods sold. Now, in your business, just as a side note, you may have accounts under cost of goods sold. So you might have sub accounts. Uh, they could be, you know, drafting services. If it was engineering, it could be, you know, whatever it is, but you're going to choose uh, the account that you're going to put this to. Okay, so we're going to say cost of goods sold. We're going to say, uh, you know, we can put in a description. We don't have to. And we're going to say that the amount was $600. All right. Now, we are not billing it to this project because we build it in our $1,250. All right, so if we did have some out-of-pocket expenses, I'll go through that in a second, that we want to bill to the project, we can. But in this case, we're going to leave this unchecked because we are not specifically billing this $600 to the customer, okay? So then we want to go over here, and we got to make sure in all of this project tracking, you have to make sure you code every single transaction to the project, all right? So we're going to say building project, and we're going to, we don't want to schedule the payment. We would just want to say save and close. Okay. So now you see that it shows up. Income $1,250, cost $600. Our profit margin so far is 52%. Okay. So we're doing pretty well. So now I want to go in and I just want to add an expense. Let's say that we had some travel expense, like some gas or you know, maybe it was a meal or something that we're going to expense to this project. All right, so we're going to go up here. We're going to go to expenses, and we are going to add a new expense. Okay, so who did you pay? I'm going to X out of this. We don't need to go through that walkthrough there. Okay, so let's say that we paid uh, Costco. Uh, and how did you pay? Uh, let's see, payment account. I don't have any bank accounts set up in here, so we're just going to say this was paid in cash. All right, we're not taking it out of a payment account. We're going to say cash. All right, and we're going to say this was a automobile expense, car and truck. Let's say uh, fuel for driving to meeting, okay? We're going to say it was $52.14. And then we are going to bill this, and we are going to bill it to the building project. All right. Again, like I said before, you got to specify every single transaction uh, that's going to this particular project. All right. So let's say save and close. All right. Please enter. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this in. We're just going to say that it was for now. This is uh, you're going to have a bank account or something else set up or petty cash. We're going to say uncategorized asset. Okay. All right, so different type of account. Let me go ahead and add new. 
All right, so we'll say bank, cash on hand, cash on hand. And I'm going to say, uh, let's see, when do you want to start tracking? I don't need that. We're just going to say save and close. Okay. Save and close. All right. So now you can see that expense, car and truck, 5214. And if I go back to projects, all right, so now you can see the 65214. And I'm going to click on this building project. And you can see I've got my income, I've got my cost of goods sold, and then I've got my expenses. Now, we don't have any hours on here, but if I did want to add some hours, all right, so what I'm going to do, I don't have any people's names in here, but if I entered a time activity, okay, uh, we are going to add a new, and I'm going to say this is, uh, let's see, Bill Richardson. Okay, let's say that they are an employee, and I'm going to say that their cost per hour is 28.63. It's going to the John Smith Building Project. Okay, billable hours, 1.25. Okay, uh, let's see, enter start and end times uh, time. Let's see, I'll say a start time. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to take that off. I'm going to say time. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to change this to billable hour 125. And then this is going to be 0115 for 25 minutes. Okay. $156.25. And then you can put in a description for drafting services or whatever it might be. We're going to say save and close. Okay, so now you can see we've got Bill Richardson's time in here. We've got cost of goods sold, 600 bucks, hourly time costs, okay, expense, car and truck. All right, so you can see here now that it's putting in all the costs for this project. So if I go back to, uh, let's say, just the main screen, you're going to see that the 45% profit margin is calculating here and the time spent an hour and 15 minutes. All right, so you can see how this can be a very, very handy tool. There's lots of different ways you can uh, track expenses, track uh, you know the income, everything to your particular project. And then of course, when you're done with this project, you know, you're gonna uh, close it out here. Uh, but again, in QuickBooks Online, this is a great way to keep track of your projects. Any questions, any comments whatsoever, feel free to leave those below. Uh, happy to answer those for you. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University. Uh, you can find the full training over there, plus I answer members' personal questions about their QuickBooks file. Website is qbuniversity.org.